Hey Capricorn, it's your girl Dominique with Empathic Guidance and I'm back with another video for you guys today. And today I'm back with your last half of June. The lies they tell and the secrets they keep, okay? If you haven't viewed this series just yet, then just give me one second. I will explain to you guys what this series is all about but please take this time to go ahead and subscribe to the tribe ring that bell so you guys can be notified every single time i post another video or go live give this video a big fat thumbs up and leave all your thoughts and opinions down below okay um also visit my description where you can find out where you can follow me on social media um, as well as how to book a personal reading with your girl. Okay. And I also have the link of the channel to one of my YouTube friends, Kareem Spirit Works, in the description. So go ahead and click that link, hit subscribe, and ring that bell so that you can be notified whenever he posts new videos, which is all the time. Okay. All right, guys. So the lies they tell and the secrets they keep is a series that I created so that you guys can see what's in the surrounding space. Like, if people have the right type of intentions for you or if you need to go ahead and filter them out of your life as you move on and evolve to the next timeline, okay? All right, time and energy is fluid. You guys know that. So, this is the energy of what would be the cross watcher. Then go ahead and switch that energy around. As well as time. Yes, this is time stamp for the last half of June. But this can be old energy. Energy that you're currently in or energy that's to come, okay? All right, I just want to hop right in because we are already a minute and 43 seconds into this intro caps. Okay, so what is in, what's coming in for Capricorn? For the lies they tell and the secrets they keep, spirit. What energies are surrounding Capricorn that they need to be aware of and the energy of deception or secrecy? Okay, that one tried to flip. The three fates, what goes around, comes around. Okay, guys, you are in a perpetual cycle with somebody here. Um, this could definitely be speaking to the fact that somebody did something negative to you a couple of times and now it's coming back on them. Or this can also be, um, you know, the third time around for something here, okay? Because whatever this is, it's hard for you to learn a lesson. So I feel like you guys keep having to go a go round. If this is the third time for something, then this is it. But if this is the first time, you got two more times for something like this to happen. And if this is the second time, you got one more time for this to happen. Because the three fates is definitely something happen in, happening in threes. After this situation, you need to go on the hill. So if this is a makeup to break up situation, y'all done made up and broke up three times and you like, okay, now this is getting repetitive and I understand that this may not be meant to be and I'm about to go on off to myself, get some R&R, &R, retreat from you so that I can get the healing that I need because keep in mind, this is a 19 card which speaks to 10. So you done with someone or something, okay, Caps, hold on a second. You are done with someone or something, all right? And I feel like miracles are coming in for you because of that. Let's get one more. I feel like everybody else got three, so let's get three for caps. Let's get three for caps. One more for caps when it comes down to the lies they tell and the secrets they keep. One more for Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the last half of June 2020. For the last day, tell them the secrets they keep. Damn. Okay, you missed somebody. So once again, like I said, this person keeps coming back around. And that's why you keep letting them around because you miss them. Time to be brave is in reverse. This is the fairy of the highlands. It's time to be brave. So it's time for you to be brave and let this go. You already know that it's not working. I feel like you're totally ignoring your intuition when it comes down to continuing to deal with this. Why is the three fates here? What goes around comes around. Ooh. The wheel of fortune came out in reverse. And this is basically the wheel in the upright. So, yes, this is something, this is a karmic situation that you keep trying to heal here, Capricorn. And this person may keep giving you the notion that you can revive this, but, I mean, damn, it's a damn skeleton. Like, this is dead, dead. 
and it's making you feel like energetically depleted. You dealing with another earth sign or this is you and you trying to pull back your energy from this individual, but I feel like they keep coming around. This is somebody that keeps coming back around that's not healing. I mean, that's not, um, you're not healing from the connection because they continue to juggle you with somebody else. So they like alternating relationships. Maybe when you on bad times, they on good times with somebody else, you know, instead of them trying to fix things, they just run to an ex or, you know, a new person or whatever. Um, let's see. That fell on the floor and I don't know how I feel. So let's get another one. Let's get the Amada the Menendu. Aloha healing for caps. Y'all be getting the emperor in reverse. See, all the masculine energy is in reverse. And so, yes, there is a possibility. Um that these two can be the same energy because it's both Taurus energy, basically, with the Emperor and the um the Emperor and the King of Pentacles. If not, you got two masculine energies that you are juggling that's not on the up and up. You could have just recently got a divorce. Maybe you had a side person. Um and I feel like you guys keep revisiting this affair. But now at this point, either you ready to pull back your energy or this person has pulled back their energy because they feel like they've been waiting for you to choose between them and somebody else and you haven't been. I feel like whoever wants to come towards you, this person, unless this is a whole nother person, and it could be because it looks like you're getting rid of two people. But I'm getting a Knight of Cups. So I feel like, you know... This emperor could be in reverse because they asked to marry you. Maybe they was trying to take control of the situation and you didn't let them. Capricorn, you're very independent. So maybe um they was ready to settle down and like control you or like, I don't want to say control you like that, but they wanted to be in charge of everything. It was a power struggle between you guys possibly. Okay, but I'm seeing that you got either fresh energy coming in or it was this person that offered you a new beginning. They offered like they either proposed to you or they asked to be in a relationship with you. But you already have somebody and you couldn't do that. And now, let's see. This person just keep walking away and coming back though. Like I feel like they walked away because you wouldn't leave somebody. But every time they walk away, they miss you and then they come back. Okay, we're getting a five of cups in reverse. Five of cups and an eight of cups in reverse. Why is shallow grave here if someone misses you? We're getting a five of swords. <laughs> oh, why is the five of swords here first before I move on? Because you keep rejecting this person and they seeing you as an individual that's doing it like for selfish person reasons like you being arrogant. They see you as somebody that's meant to be with them, but you refuse to see it. Yeah. You the queen of wands, you possibly got uh, a sag cusp, but with the queen of wands and the lovers in reverse, I do feel like you felt the connection with this person, but if you were married at the time, Capricorn, then I feel like you just couldn't get this person a chance. It wasn't like you couldn't really consider them a real option, and they wasn't clear as to why, man. I'm getting a bunch of aces in reverse. So I feel like y'all could have like possibly had sex on and off and this person thought that it was going to lead to some type of long-term stability and it didn't, you know, you pulled back and you like, you know what, with the emperor in reverse, I got to finish up something first. If you guys were not married, then I just feel as though... I just feel like somebody here was married. So it doesn't matter. Put the energies as they go. Capricorns, if you are the masculine Capricorn, then it's definitely you had to pull yourself back from somebody that was in a situation and they had to choose between you and somebody else. Okay. What is the description of the person that is in deception or secrecy around Capricorn? Y'all, a third party. Yeah, somebody that you were sleeping with, but I, I don't feel like it went where they wanted it to go. You guys could have possibly conceived a child, which, you know, 
I mean, I don't know what to say about that, but if you can see the child out of uh, um, out of your wedlock, like, like let's say you have a husband, if you're a female, and you got pregnant by somebody on the outside, you know, you basically took care of it because you didn't want the static between you and your husband, but it really looked like the static is already there. These things is going off. Yeah, somebody was really, somebody got chat sad in their chart. But yeah, this is somebody that want to keep coming back. Like this person is really anticipating the future with you caps. And if you wondering like, damn, why do they keep coming back every time I send them away? It's because they really see themselves with you in the future. Like they really want what they want with you. And this person is not the type to give up. You know, what? what is this person's intentions with Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node? They want you to move. Like, they want you to move and... <sighs> they want to change your mind about staying in the situation. They feel like you need to move. You may feel like they being selfish or they only thinking about they self when you feel like you got a family, you got responsibilities outside of just your husband or wife, you know, whoever they asking you to leave, you know, y'all could have kids or it could be a heavy load or it could be a lot to leave because I'm definitely getting a 10 of wine. So this to you, it's like, this is a heavy situation. You don't take the situation lightly. And I feel like this person is acting like it's as simple as a breakup instead of like, oh, well, you know, they got to basically get a divorce and leave kids behind or you know take bring kids with them and honestly they feel like you trying to uh emotionally manipulate them or they could be trying to emotionally manipulate you into choosing them like making you feel guilty somehow i feel like this person continues to tell you like we were meant to be together like this was pre-written this is in the stars this is somebody that can definitely be younger to you and they going through a lot of mental turmoil when it comes down to waiting for divine timing to to play its part to play its role they like they getting impatient they getting and antsy and hyper that's why i'm like jumping from sentence to sentence because i feel in a sense like they in that same nervous type of behavior where they like when are they gonna leave when are they coming when are they gonna come be with me you know like this person doesn't understand the concept or the depth so i can definitely tell that if you're in a situation where you're married this person has never been married so they don't understand like how the time you know the time it takes to actually get a divorce Okay, so what are the blockages in this situation here? What are the blockages in this situation between Capricorn? Yeah, the blockages is you need to move. You The fact that you live somewhere else. That, you know, you keep telling this person that you're moving or that you're coming towards them. <sighs> yeah, a blockage is a divorce. Okay, somebody is needing to get a divorce in this situation, set themselves free from something that, you know, is no longer serving their highest good with the temperance in reverse here, something that's unreconcilable. So there could be a possibility that your husband actually found out about this affair or your husband or your wife, they, whoever the emperor in reverse is, because if you got a masculine wife, then yes, that could be a woman. You know, but you guys were definitely seeing somebody like a little bit younger, okay? You could be dealing with a Libra or a Sag, like I said. What are the blockages for this person, Spirit? Immaturity immaturity they they let they whoever is coming towards you like you're very ma emotionally mature and you understand that this is a process they don't they are super deep in their emotions so if you feel like they kind of out of control with their emotions or they're trying to emotionally manipulate you it's because they going through so much anxiety when it comes down to the situation you know they they continue to think negatively like they're gonna back out thinking that you're gonna back out caps yeah, the blockages is the lack of sex. It's like a lack of, you know, I feel like this person wants to be with you intimately, 
on an everyday basis. They want to have access to you. They are afraid that you're still, you know, interacting on a physical level with the person that you married to still. And maybe you telling them that you're not, but they like, how is that possible? You live in a house with them, you sleep in bed with them, you know? What are the hopes and fears in this situation? Spirit for Capricorn and their person. What are the hopes and fears? Somebody is hoping that you will break the silence because I feel like this person is coming back. Like, yeah, they left you, but they hoping that you understand why. You know, this person needed time to think like, okay, I'm getting Scorpio and Virgo now. But this person needed a time to think like, you know, do I really want to be back with this person? Like... Do I really want to put myself back in a position where I can possibly be defeated by somebody that they've been with? Is this the right thing to do? This person knows, even knows that they're being manipulative towards you. So they like, should I continue that? You know, I mean, of course, I would never suggest that you continue to manipulate somebody. But this person knows that they're doing it because they they want to convince you to leave. They don't want to be a third party anymore. And it's like, they feel like at this point, they're getting rejected. They feel like you're acting emotionally unavailable towards them for somebody else. Or they could be starting to act like this with you and flirting with other people just so that they don't feel like, damn, I'm getting rejected here. Okay, what's the best possible outcome between this situation with Capricorn? Dang, yours is the shortest one thus far. But these readings, uh, this energy kind of flying for y'all though. What is the best possible outcome for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node? The best possible outcome is divine time. And I'm not going to lie, I'm getting a hangman here. So, yes, you are going to be in limbo. Yes, there is going to be a need to wait. And that's just what it is. Like, your person going to have to do that or move on. The best possible outcome is with divine timing, you will move away from the other person that you are with and come and be with this very emotional person. Like, it seems like the main thing that's on their mind is their sexual needs and feeling like they're not being met because they're dealing with somebody that's married. And it's putting them in a place where, yeah... The best possible outcome is you will actually get that divorce, Capricorn. Because I'm getting a justice in reverse here. One more for the best possible outcome. Emperor in reverse, Queen of Swords in reverse. So, yeah, you leaving your husband or wife, you know. Rejection is in this situation. Why is the moon here? So maybe it's a third time the charm. Maybe this person had to wait, you know, so long or come back to you twice and you just still wouldn't leave and now they are. Yeah. This is speaking to secrets on top of secrets. Ooh. You guys are secretly pregnant by this other person. Again. So y'all got pregnant by them one time. And, you know, whatever happened, happened, you know, it don't, it didn't have to be necessarily what I said earlier. It could have actually been, you know, stress related reasons, but yeah, best possible outcome. I feel like you're getting what you want here, you know, and that's to like leave us that you, you're going to be leaving one situation, going straight into another and possibly starting a family right away. Okay, what's the spiritual advice for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node? What is the spiritual advice for Capricorn as it pertains to this situation? Beloved one, Archangel Camille, I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. So this is a soulmate that you're moving towards and you finally going to be able to um, 
Oh, you could be dealing with a Taurus because I'm getting prosperity for you. And at the bottom of the deck, all is well with Archangel Jeremiah. Everything is happening exactly as it's supposed to. With hitting blessings, you will soon understand. So, again, you guys may have had to go through the wire. You may have had to go through two different times of being separated. But the third time is the charm. And you guys are actually coming together in a place where you can have a prosperous, prosperous harmonious relationship. Clear audiences here. So, you guys can definitely be collect, uh, connecting to telepathically, you know, where you can hear this person speaking, you can hear their voice, notice the loving guidance you hear inside your mind from other people, and that could be them, you know, and that's what's keeping y'all connected throughout all of this, especially since y'all can't connect on a sexual level right now. Um, for prosperity is Archangel Ariel. Your material needs are provided as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into a reality. So maybe you were actually worried about your financial stability if you left your marriage situation, but spirit is working it out so that you can go and be with a divine partner or a soulmate, okay? All right, Capricorn. Hopefully this reading helps somebody. Like, share, comment, and subscribe and visit that description so that you guys can get the link to Kareem Spirit Works, as well as the links to follow me on social media or book a personal reading with me. Okay, guys? And I'll check you guys out on the next one. Peace.